So you guys know I installed these spring twists and loved them. I showed you how to moisturize them, wash them, take care of them, etc. However, I have mentioned in a few videos that I had to take them out of my hair prematurely and have actually had a setback due to those spring twists. I'm here to talk about it. Let's get into the video. So in this video, I'm just going to be trimming my hair and I'm going to talk about the reasons why in a second. If you recall, I did share a video trimming my hair previously in the recent past, so towards the end of 2023. However, here I am trimming my hair again. And I'm going to talk about the reasons why in a second. But I just wanted to say that the year 2023 was a successful year for me. My hair was the softest, most moisturized, most supple, most healthy, and the longest it's ever been. I cracked the code when it comes to moisture and I shared it with you all. Another milestone in my natural hair journey is the fact that I actually attained waist length hair towards the end of last year. However, I have needed to actually trim off more of my hair and we're going to talk all about that in this video. I've shared a lot of videos, a lot of content around protective styling, particularly with synthetic hair, with mini twists, you know, braids, wigs, etc. And I have said and stressed in all of my videos that the best protective style for your hair is just a protective style with your own hair. The use of synthetic hair, added hair, coarse hair, particularly Mali type hair, Getting someone else installing your extensions or your protective style are all reasons why a lot of us don't actually benefit much from a protective style. And this is the case for me because right now my hair is in need of a trim. And that's because the hair that I used, those spring twists, were actually quite rough on my hair. The moisturizing was adequate, however the hair itself was just too rough for my fine strands to handle. I believe I do have fine strands, if anything, maybe medium. However, I'm sure you can see in the video, those strands are pretty fine. And with fine hair, you even have to be, you have to be even more delicate, more particular with how you look after your hair because it's just so delicate and so fragile. So what did the synthetic hair do to my hair? Or rather, I guess the question should be, what went wrong in my opinion i think there's a few reasons why this particular protective style didn't work for me and the first reason is the prep you see i didn't install the hair myself and therefore because someone else was braiding my hair i just have this general pressure to really detangle my hair thoroughly so that it's easy for them to part and deal with my hair so I went to town with detangling my hair, which is not really a usual occurrence for me in my routine. I used a brush and, um, you know, really thoroughly detangled my hair and I felt like the brush was really effective. However, here I am needing to trim my hair because the amount of single strand knots, the amount of split ends and the level of dryness is just crazy. I can vouch for myself and say that I tried my best to be gentle with my hair. I moisturized my hair as thoroughly as I usually do. However, the use of combs was not a good idea, particularly a brush. And also to the extent that I did detangle because my hair simply does not like combs and brushes. I've spoken about this in other videos. However, I thought, look, once a year, twice a year couldn't be that bad, right? wrong i have now known learned my lesson the hard way that my hair actually really truly does hate combs and brushes and i really get a mini set back each time i use a comb or a brush on my hair and when i say combs and brushes i literally mean the use of combs and brushes for the purposes of detangling not necessarily for parting your hair because i know some of you guys get confused when you see me parting my hair with a rat tail comb that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about tools used to detangle hair 
This experience has really changed the way I look at my hair, the way I am going to move forward dealing with my hair. I feel like there needs to be a shift with the way we actually detangle and manage and style our hair because type 4 hair is never going to be free of tangles and that is the truth. If you have this tightly coiled hair, you know there is always a tangle lingering just after detangling the hair. And needless to say that I actually did not use heat during my prep. So we're not even talking about the effects of heat in setting us back on our natural hair journeys, the split ends, the dryness, the brittleness that comes with heat. And then you've got the detangling that encourages the single strand knots. And then you've got um, just general dryness and really more brittleness that comes from synthetic hair, particularly if you use Mali or more kinky textured hair. I have went ahead to learn my lessons and share even further tips on how to style your hair while you know wanting to rock synthetic hair and I feel like I'm gonna build on that knowledge for the few times that I feel like I want to use synthetic hair on my hair. However once again styling my hair without added hair is really the best. Moving forward I will aim to try and do this as much as possible. So in a nutshell, the damage is really from the rough hair, the manipulation, the detangling, the single strand knots, the split ends, the dryness from the synthetic hair, etc. Because if you really think about it, my hair was not in that synthetic hair for long at all for it to feel the, the way that it feels at the moment when it comes to dryness. I know you can't see it in the camera, but the hair is dry. It's not like the Sahara but when it comes to me it's dry hair because my hair at this point was really moisture trained. I had not known dry hair the whole year of 2023 but here I am using the search and destroy method <laughs> to trim my hair and mourning and counting my losses. My hair actually still needs to be moisture trained from here and I have to say that this is after a wash day I have been moisturizing my hair two three times in the week so every day back to back for four days in a row and the hair is just drinking up that moisture I literally do not know where the product is going because you guys know I'm heavy-handed and yet my hair still feels dry and in need of moisture this is how I know something went wrong somewhere so i really will do a separate video talking about the moisture and how i intend to build that back up and um retrain my hair i guess to take in moisture retrain myself i guess to moisturize my hair not that that had ever been a problem but you know how it is when there's a setback it's a good opportunity to improve on your skills so watch out for that video. However, I just wanted to come out here and say, look, a setback is not the end of the world. A setback is a learning curve. A setback teaches us lessons. And now we know what to do, what not to do moving forward. And my aim here on this channel is to really share my entire journey, the good, the bad, the ugly, so that you can learn. Pick up what you want to pick up and leave the rest. However, do not do the same mistakes I do because you might actually set yourself back. The amount of length that I've lost is really unnecessary and because I do the search and destroy method I am retaining as much as I can however I have taken off quite a bit because of the single strand knots the split ends that I am finding in my hair so yeah guys this is part of the journey let's continue to enjoy it be proud of it and embrace it no need flaunting waist length hair if it's damaged hair right we want healthy hair here so let's get on with it <laughs> 